think what has made your wealthy in particular uh, is not understood anymore. I think it's much easier for the citizens to identify with the region than with the European Union as a whole. Uh, the argument for a European Republic is essentially that you have a policy system which reflects what we're already doing mm -hmm. in the economic world. Honestly, from my point of view, I would hope that the EU would try to focus on a few issues like um, really developing the single market and really put a lot of energy in a few very important issues that can only be solved on a European level. It's really about uniting people and not about integrating states. So I think that this is the basic difference between the concept of uh, United States of Europe and the European Republic. It goes into two directions. I mean, now we have a crisis and the crisis is not good because a crisis also holds back investments. The EU's future is a little bit too uncertain for businesses. So this is quite quite a big risk, Brexit and other development. And how could we improve this through a policy system which is really a attractive to citizens so that we get all this populist uh, out of the system. European citizenship is worth something and that real legal rights stem from it. If people are integrated in the new society, they are uh, positive contributors to economic growth, they are supporting integration and they are um, a, a positive contribution. I think that the economy in Europe would also take part again or go up again into growth because people just feel happier in the political surrounding they are. He's got some really hardcore points of view because when I come from more like the first lady, he will say that will fail. And then what's the cost? Well, I actually do believe that people can transcend and be more social or more utopian in that sense. But if you stay on a utopia and not understand him, you will actually be too altruistic and you'll also fail. Call it the monster. And the monster. The monster. Yeah. <laughs> it's long and never ending actually, because of the bureaucracy and all the kind of you know, long processes. <laughs> what about you guys? I think uh, we got a different insight from the other people. Uh, for example, uh, the first one, the lady talked about uh, the European Union could become a republic. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people thought no. It, it, it was really interesting to see those four perspectives mixed up yeah. and in one day yeah. it was a lot to take and, and but in the end it was, was kind of nice insights. Having that as a part of the course really, really helped to inform me much better and now I have even a keener interest that I've done a little extra research on my own and now my ears perk up but here EU and BBC and then I'm really paying attention now and so I'm glad I had that opportunity.